it is finally here hair escapade shampoo and conditioner organic all natural ingredients we're getting ready for vegas for next week so andrea is hooking up the sewing well she's actually braiding see the pattern is zigzag she's actually braiding my hair for we're doing a mohawk weave hello everybody i'm doing hair right now hello cheerio cheerio <laughs> and then, okay so anyway me and andrea were just you know shooting the breeze shooting the gif and you know what i'm getting so many clients that are coming in talking about how these hairstylists are really jacking up hair it's just really unbelievable how they really don't give a damn so that's why to all my future cosmetologists don't ever think that it's oversaturated with hairstylists yeah it's a lot of hairstylists out there but all of them are not doing a good job and there is room for good hairstylists like yourself when you're passionate about something, you're going to do the best job. You're going to put in your best work. So whenever you feel like you ain't passionate about this, just go, girl, please uh, pick another career. Because you're giving these other hairstylists like myself a bad name. You're, you're, you're doing weaves so dang on tight where it's pulling out these clients' hair. You're putting chemicals on certain people here when you know they don't need no chemical. You're doing the chemical of uh, you're doing a relaxer and putting the color on, uh, bleaching, all kind of crazy stuff, and you're not maintaining and keeping the integrity of these clients' hair. And I, I'm just really getting pissed off about it because I just think that's not right. Like you should have some type of heart. You should care about what you're doing. You know, how you letting people walk out looking crazy? These lumpy weaves. Then, oh my God. Do you know how many fixer uppers I've been doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. If I get one more fixer upper. These clients are coming in here. Girl, look like a <laughs> the weave be like this. They head, this they head. The weave be lumpy going in the triangle. They got a pyramid weave. <laughs> Girl, the closure, you can see tracks. Oh, my God. This one fixer wrapper I had to do. When I tell you, was this much space in between? Just the braids alone was just like the... You see how good these braids are? See? The braids were so... It was such a big gap where it's a big gap when you saw the weft on. It's like, what are you doing? I need you to take a class. If you're struggling with how to do a weave, please take a class. Hit me up. I will teach you one-on-one. -on -one. We can do Skype. You can come here. We can schedule a day because I just feel like you need to put your best foot forward. If you don't know the game, you need to pay to learn the game. You know what I mean? Like invest in yourself. I just, wow. What are some other crazy ones? Haircuts. And then don't pump these people up saying that you're good or you're an expert at cutting. And then they come out looking like one of the Beatles. Okay, that's good for the UK back in the, you know, when the Beatles was cracking. But this day and age, like, come on, you got to step your hair cutting game up. And I'm just, it's just too much for me to handle. I need to be talking while I'm holding this. So, you know, y'all, <laughs> I did a pre-order where I didn't even get this in it wasn't even here yet. People were already ordering this because it's, I mean, it works. It's all organic. I mean, you got olive oil, coconut oil, uh, sea, Atlantic sea salt. Okay, this is the shampoo. Um, you have organic chamomile, uh, kelp, which is um, replenishes the hair in the scalp, leaf juice, aloe, um, the conditioner got so many things. This is where you got the organic white willow, fruit oil, peppermint essential, organic tea tree essential oil. Um, all these things are just so great for the hair and scalp. And the reason why I really was motivated to even do this because I had, excuse me, I was coming across so many different clients that had scalp issues. Uh, because a lot of these shampoos have harsh detergents in them. Some of the same ingredients that you use to wash your dishes with. 
And with me caring, because I'm a caring hairstylist, I said, you know what? I, it, there has to be a better way. So not only do you do a great style, you want to maintain and take care of the hair. You want their hair to grow. You know what I mean? So that's really, you know, that's really what motivated me to really do this. And like I told you guys, I started in my kitchen. This was three months ago. This one right here, my creative director. Hello, she's, me again. She's a creative director slash, and this is why it is really important to have a thorough team. This one right here, at the beginning, you know, it was a little bit of work I had to work with her on, but what I didn't have to worry about is her heart. This one right here got a good heart. You know what I mean? She care. She wants me to win. You got to have people on your team that want you to win because if I win, she's going to win. Um, some people have hidden agendas, motives that are, you know, people be lightweight, hating on you from the inside. You got to have a team that really care and give a damn and who's going to help your company grow. The way it all began is that, look, she's just over here brain for Jesus. Oh, yeah. The way it began is that, you know, Andrea, she washes, she the one that washes a lot of my clients' hair. And she looked at the shampoo bar and she was like, girl, this should be all hair escapades. Like, she was clowning me lightweight, like, why you ain't coming with your own product? This should be all hair escapades. I thought about it. She said, I said, well, how am I going to do that? Girl, once you go on YouTube or something, just start looking up, do your research, start looking up, you know, how to do it. Lord and behold, I went to all these different places, Trader Joe's, uh, uh, you know, places where they sell like essential oils and stuff. I went to um, Whole Foods and I basically, and I, you know, I did my research on what helps the hair, what helps the scalp. And I started concocting all this in my kitchen, girl, trying it out on clients. Mind you, because I didn't have the right preservatives to make it last, I couldn't sell it. So what I had to do was get with a manufacturer that um, specialized in organic products. That's, so we were on the same page already. I told them the ingredients, the main ingredients I wanted in, wanted in the products. And then I said, okay, and you guys can... Um, you guys can, you know, throw in some things that's going to help detangle. And that's going to, so I want to make sure it tingle on the scalp now. That peppermint, lemongrass, all that, that help tingle the scalp now. Let's tingle that scalp. And can I tell you, once you open the bottle, and it's a little pop-up top. Once you open the bottle and inhale, it's like a hair spa. When my clients, first of all, you know, we do the red light special got the lights off with the red light so they're already you know, playing sensual music and then they that smell it just seems like it just opens up your respiratory it just kind of it's an amazing aromatic experience on top of it you can feel it working in your scalp like I really believe in this product and I'm just so happy that it's finally out let me just tell you the benefits this is the conditioner the benefits and it'll tell you on the back Detangles helps add shine and luster to dull damaged hair. It stimulates circulation for faster hair growth. It nourishes the scalp and hair and it offers an amazing aromatic experience. Okay? The shampoo, it helps to unclog the pores. Anywho, um, I just wanted to talk about that. And as you can see, let me turn so they can see what's going on here. As you can see, she's sewing the rest of the braids down. And then we're going to add some crazy tracks. It's going to be dope, huh? Yes. Pink and purple. Pink, purple, my and My little burgundy. pony, my little pony. Not for real. <laughs> <laughs> see, they can't see you. Now, man, they can't. They need to see your crazy ass. My little pony, <laughs> my little pony. <laughs> so, so, that's, that's what I'm going to be looking like, a little ass pony. <laughs> that's all right. That's the thing now. <laughs> it's a fantasy hair escapades. Correct. <laughs> oh, yes, my creative director, too. She's actually doing the um, treatment for my uh, photo shoot, and that's going to be coming soon. We got a little documentary coming out for y'all so y'all can see beginning. And, and you know what? The reason why I filmed this, 
it's just the reason why I'm filming this journey because I want to inspire other people and just know that you can do it too. I mean, we, me and her, we are straight out of Compton. That's why I got that little ghetto twang. <laughs> straight out of Compton. Um, and Compton was a rough place to grow up. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's gang violence, the ghetto bird, which is the helicopter, lame in terms. Uh, it was, you know, you just never knew if you were going to get home safe, you know. It was just a lot. But got through it and um, started in the kitchen. Now I'm here. Started in the kitchen now. Yeah. Whole team here, yeah. <laughs> I'm here, you guys. Love it. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I'm posing for a picture, but I'm videotaping. I'm so retarded for that. Like, that looks nice.